Hey everyone, in today's video what I wanted to do was um, show you how to enable HDIG on the LG C9 OLED. So first thing we'll, what we'll do is I've got the PlayStation booted up here and we'll just have a look at what settings we've got right now. So at the moment it's in SDR mode, so it's just game user. And if we come down to expert controls, there's nothing for dynamic tone mapping showing so you've got your your dynamic contrast and everything else but nothing for dynamic tone mapping dynamic tone mapping is what we need that's where the option for hgig is actually located on the c9 oled so what you need to do is in order to get into that you need to actually have a game running um, whilst trying to set this up so fifa 20 is one of the ones that is a hdr title obviously this should work with any HDR title out there but what I'll do is I'll switch to The Last of Us just because um, it will give us a obviously with FIFA it's pretty much a green screen for the for the most part it's mainly just the grass and everything so there's it's not as easy to actually show the difference whereas with The Last of Us it should be a bit easier to actually show um, the di difference it actually makes between switching HDIG on or off and also having dynamic tone mapping just on off or on HDIG so what we'll do is we'll come into this and what we're looking for is in the top right hand corner um, we're looking for a little we're, we're looking for this splash screen and then for it to switch to HDR so in the top right hand corner of the screen we should see the little HDR logo pop up just around there once this comes back there we go so we know this is a HDR title so we know that we can actually go into the menus and make those changes in the settings now. So once it boots up, and what I'll do is I'll try and set the ISO so then it's giving you an indication of what I'm seeing on screen. It's not gonna be perfect because obviously the, the iPhone's camera isn't gonna be able to replicate what I'm seeing by eye. Um, to the eye, um, between the, the glass at the moment, it's, it's uh, you can see the clouds a little, not so much as what you're seeing, probably about there. That's probably about what I'm I'm seeing. Obviously, what I'm seeing in the viewfinder isn't quite as bright, it's not as vivid as what I'm seeing to the eye. But what you wanna do is go into your settings, go into your picture settings, go into your game. And just there, you should see HDR picture mode. So now we know we're in the HDR. So what we want to do is come down to here and expert controls and essentially what we're looking for is the dynamic tone mapping. So at the moment I have it switched on. So what I'll do is I'll go back to off. So if you look just in this sort of area here, um, that's where you'll probably notice the biggest difference. If I turn it on, what you notice is everything else kind of dims around it and it does increase the contrast quite a lot but it's literally just dimming everything else so that's off that's with the tone mapping on from the uh, LG so that's processing done from the LG side um, HDIG is switching it back to the PlayStation and giving that control so once we switch that on what we notice is well what I can notice and what you should be able to notice is everything else stays the same so nothing dims but just in this region here just where the clouds are you'll notice that it gets a bit brighter and what may happen is on the phone screen and over the camera it might actually just blow out the highlights a little to the eye it's not actually blowing out it's just actually differentiating so it's almost as though there's it gives you a better outline of the clouds you can't actually see it like um a sharp edge or anything so it's not like it's it's changing the picture but it's just showing on this this with it off it it doesn't look like there's there's any clouds it just looks like a kind of haze with it on it's literally just dimming everything around it bringing that down and making the the window look a bit brighter so going back to off so that just balances everything out again and then switching to HDIG on it's literally just bringing up the highlights and giving you a bit more definition in those areas. So that's where the setting is actually located. 
let me just bring this to I can't remember where we last left off but what we'll do is we'll carry on and if I can get to a screen where and what I'll do is just bring that up right so we're back in gameplay now um, I can't actually get it to look the way um, I see it on screen what I might try and do is no see I can see the clouds just right so what I'll do is I'll get it to about there so in in the phone screen at the moment um, how it's coming across is let me just pull the brightness up see if that makes any just about there so to the to the naked eye um, all of the bag and everything is a lot more visible um, the clouds are probably just about right in terms of what I see on on screen so what we'll do is now we'll just go back in and we'll have another play about with it so expert controls dynamic tone mapping so on this screen it doesn't make much of a difference the dynamic tone mapping on just brings the brightness up quite a bit so it increases it on the whole screen and between off and HDIG on there's not much that I'm seeing just in this particular scene that's right so on okay yes so th that makes a big difference so just in this region here what we're getting is it's just bringing up the highlights on any of the areas where it looks like you're getting sunlight reflection so off just bring up the point off these windows um, it looks like it's, it's beaming the light more and off these columns here the concrete sections it looks like it's bringing bringing the light up a bit more compared to off and on that's with the TV's dynamic tone mapping and that's with HDIG so it is a much brighter image in this kind of um, brighter area of the screen with HDIG on. Now what I'll do is I'll, I'll just switch this back around and let's see what difference it makes on a darker screen. So on a darker image tone mapping just brings everything up a lot more with it off as you can see that's making quite a big difference and on with HDIG on there's very little difference between off Obviously, this is only meant to be for the your, your highlights. But essentially, that's let's have a a little spin around. Try and get somewhere. So it seems a very different image in terms of what the the tone mapping does so with your tone mapping it's bringing anytime you've got highlights all around you it's bringing everything down and when you're going into the shadows it's bringing everything back up again um, with HDIG on it's kind of just balancing everything out slightly differently um, almost similar to how it's uh, with tone mapping off but what it's doing is on your highlights it's, it's just bringing them up a touch more so that's off as you can see in the clouds just in this section here and what I'll do is I'll just bring that down so that just there is probably about what I'm seeing on screen so when you switch it on it just pops the actual 
highlights of the clouds a touch more. With HDI Yarn, obviously that's going to flatten this and it'll bring everything down. Um, sorry, with tone mapping on. So obviously this is, you can kind of decide for yourself whether you want it with HDIG on, which from what I've been told now is more to what the developer's intent would have been, um, similar to uh, filmmaker mode on the uh, new LG C10s or CXs. Um, whereas tone mapping is obviously there to try and give you a more balanced image overall. Let's see how it affects characters. So that's off, on, and HDIG. So tone mapping on is definitely going to give you a much brighter image for the most part. So if you're if you're looking for a much brighter screen, um, if you're if, you, if you're of the liking where you, you like to crank your, everything up, um, obviously if we go back, what we can see is I don't tend to have everything cranked right up anyway, so I've, I've got this on 80 at the moment. Um, but if, if, your, if your preference is to actually have everything as bright as possible, then I'd probably suggest leaving tone mapping on. Off is just no processing at all, and then HDIG it's only in the, the specular highlights that it's gonna actually um, make any any real difference. Try and get it on this. You can just about see it there. Just on all of these, the left hand side of all these columns, basically where the direction of where the sun's coming from. It's probably tracing the actual s sunlight a bit better in comparison to just having tone mapping on. See on this, it's, it, it's almost like a haze. So, there's no real direction of light. Whereas if anything, this is probably giving you a better direction of where the light's coming from. And if you just look at that, that window there in particular, with it off and then on, it's flattening everything around it. So it's almost darkening um, the surrounding areas. Whereas with HDAG on, that window seems to pop a lot more, but it's also bringing up everything around it as well, which is probably more realistic in terms of how light would sh cast a shadow um, or spread its spread the, uh, the light rays in comparison to what this is doing, where it's a more pleasing picture, but it's probably not very realistic in terms of how this is done. I mean, just go from here. So that's bringing it up quite a bit. In comparison and that's off there's there's very little difference if anything between off and HDIE on uh, and then tone mapping on let's have a, a little runabout Anyway, that was the the little brief look at HDIG on the LG C9. As always, um, please consider liking this video. Uh, please hit the share button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified. I have a lot of videos coming up, so obviously to stay up to date with those, just hit the bell icon, and also if you could share on your social social medias as well. Thank you.